The only thing that you're going to switch is going to be that one sign on the outside. You've got to leave these alone. Okay? Now that means we are physically going to be taking that to the bottom. So now Mr. Wedgworth to... deserves the Spartan Award because he is an amazing teacher. He does his best to help students to learn everything possible. The thing that I've noticed more, you know, in the three or four years that I've known him, uh, he has a great rapport with the students. You're always laughing in there. He always makes something funny and relating to to get everybody comfortable and learning the material. Mr. Wedgworth always uh, gives funny examples when he's teaching something. And they're funny to the point that they kind of catch you off guard. And you'll hear the students and they'll start snickering, but the thing is, is it's obvious they always remember. Like he's just like funny, like he kind of tricks us into learning, like you think you're just having fun, and then he just like sneaks some learning into there. He teaches with humor, um, he teaches with relevance, and he um, he's connects with kids. Um, I mean, you don't go in, never go into Mr. Wedgworth's class, and and there's a student with a head down. There's a student off task. I mean, he just he has the gift of keeping students on task. He just has like a way of making the atmosphere like really fun. Whenever we were learning parabolas, like I know I was struggling with it personally. I think a lot of people were, and um, he would always be like, "Okay, it's time for parabolas," and he would we just be like, "Oh," and then he'd go. Dun, 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 and we'd all go, parabola. <laughs> it was just like a little thing to put us in a better mood before it. <laughs> well, when it, whenever he draws his parabolas, he always gives a little whistling sound and goes, and it's always really cool. And it, that always re reminds me every time I'm doing my parabolas, even in uh, AP Calculus, I always tend to make that sound too. We were doing identities, and we would have to use the conjugate, and to remember that Mr. Wedge would always say, we're number conjugate, like we're number one, and you have to make it equal one. So it, his little techniques help it stick in my head. Change the sign. Multiply. Don't double. Don't double. Square the letter. Square the letter. He connects with kids. I think they truly can see that he loves coming to work every day. And he is energetic, and it, and the kids are the same way. When you walk into his classroom, the kids feel his energy, and, um, and they respond to it. We can all really tell that he just loves what he's doing, and that really shows in his work and encourages us more. He doesn't have to come out and tell them, look, I care about you. He doesn't have to say that. They just know that, you know, by being around him and the way he talks and the time that he gives to them. He's involved in everything. You see him at the football games, you see him at the baseball games. Um, he's out there with us on bus duty. It's that interest in the students. You know, he's there to see them perform on the baseball field or band hall. So he spends many hours, not only in his classroom, preparing um, the lessons, but he's also um, at all of our extracurricular activities. It helps the students when a teacher cares because it makes you want to work harder. Like if a teacher didn't care about like my grades or how I'm doing in class, I wouldn't work as hard as I do. But having a teacher like Wedge and he cares about if you're doing good in his class, your grade and stuff, it makes you want to work harder and do better. It's obvious when you're in the classroom, the students ask questions. It seems as though they're hungry to learn uh, because he's very caring and that shows when you observe him teaching. His classroom is like a at home away from home feeling. And the environment in the class is always a, a good one. I always like to go. You can't make a teacher by sending them to school. All the things that fall exactly in a row are not by accident. The injections of humor at the appropriate moment in ways that kids can remember, that's the gift of teaching. And um, he definitely has it. He has a gift. Um, he is uh, engaged with students every day. Um, he's not only a teacher, um, but he, you know, he inspires kids out of the classroom. Um, he's a role model. Um, kids look up to him, and he's uh, just a just a super guy. Scott Wedgworth, you're a man of integrity. I believe that God gave you a wonderful gift, and I am so proud to tell you congratulations on winning this Alan Barton Award. Congratulations, Mr. Wedgworth. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Scott, uh, I just want to congratulate you from the bottom of my heart about winning this award. Uh, you are ex uh, extremely worthy of that. I'm very proud of you. All of us here at Gulfport High School are very proud of you. 
And I just look forward to continuing to work with you day by day. And again, just congratulations. Hey, Mr. Wedgworth, congratulations on your award. You're very deserving, and thank you for everything that you've taught us. Mr. Wedgworth, I want to thank you for all the work you put in in engaging students every day in the classroom. Thank you for your commitment to Gulfport High School. It's teachers like you that make Gulfport High School one of the best schools in the state. So we at Gulfport High School appreciate you. Congratulations, Wedge, on winning the Barton Award. You're the best and you really deserve it.